After weeks of controversy, the results are in. A review of a New Brunswick policy intended to protect LGBTQ students, some say, may now do the opposite. I came out at school first just because it was a more comfortable space. Alex Harris says he's worried his friends won't have the same protection if they're forced to tell their parents they want to change their names or pronouns. I know one of my friends would most likely get kicked out of their house and another one could be at risk of physical abuse. Like, that's the reality of the situation and that's what this policy was originally trying to prevent. Known as Policy 713, it was brought in in 2020 to set requirements for schools to provide an inclusive environment. It was mandatory for teachers to respect the chosen names and pronouns of children. Now the government says if the child is under 16, staff will need a parent's permission to officially change the child's name. I would expect that this will uh, end up uh, before the Human Rights Commission. New Brunswick's education minister is adamant this is not about outing kids and that if they don't want to tell their parents, students will be referred to a mental health professional. Parents are our key partners and stakeholders in education and we need to respect parent rights and parents do have rights. But then a rebellion in his own ranks. A political staffer slipped this note to reporters. Eight progressive conservative MLAs, including six cabinet ministers, expressing their extreme disappointment in a lack of process and transparency. It potentially could call on force an election. But the Premier stood his ground. I believe that strongly in the case of, of um, finding a solution here where we do not exclude uh, parents in their child's life. It's beyond nonsense. It's harmful. There are lives at risk. <sighs> Harris worries the changes will lead to an erosion of rights. I saw things happening in other places to trans people, and I went, well, I'm safe, but now I'm scared that I'm not safe anymore. New Brunswick. The changes take effect July 1st. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Halifax.